Hey guys, so the test that I took at work yesterday was invalid because it was a dollar store test and for two lines it's supposed to be pregnant, one line is not pregnant. And the one line was there and then after a minute or two, there's a line like this, like it was horizontal and it was across the whole thing so it's like it was a T, like there's a line and then the negative line over here. And it freaked me out at first because I almost forgot if that meant positive or not. But it just means invalid, I guess, because obviously there's no other option for that. But yeah, and then I took another one this morning and it was negative. Another dollar store one. But I stayed up late last night reading all these stupid articles. I mean, they're not stupid or even articles, but it was postings on a, on a website, a baby website. But it said they it was the woman that they were commenting saying that uh like they didn't know they were pregnant until like they were four or five months along because they kept showing negative in the test that they were taking kept showing up negative and then they'd go to the doctor do a, a blood test and it'd be negative and they'd do an ultrasound and there's a baby in there so that does give me hope but it also makes me get my hopes up and I don't want to get my hopes up just because it hurts when they, you know, when they crash. I'm sure all you guys know all about that. The anticipation, two-week wait, all that stuff. But, I'm just gonna, sorry. I'm just gonna wait it out and see if I get my period on Saturday. The Saturday, which would make it a week late. If I don't, then I'm gonna wait till the Saturday after that. Even though I know I can't wait that long. But I'm just tired of taking tests and having them be negative and, uh, Having, like, being crushed. My husband's happy about that. He's not ready for a baby anymore. Like, he was ecstatic. And then now he's just like, oh, I'm not ready yet. So, I don't know. But, I'm just going to wait. And if I don't get my period, if my period's two weeks late and I'm getting close to, you know, my next month period that's supposed to come, I'll try to go to the doctor. I think I have to get a Kentucky ID before I can even go to the health department. And I still have a Tennessee ID. So I have to do that, get the ID, and then go to the health department for that. But, well, that's my insurance. Maybe I can wait till December 15th when my insurance kicks in, and then I'll go to the doctor. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's my update. Negative test and still no period. That's 2.45. I'm sitting here at work again, which I'll probably do the majority of my videos tomorrow. My video will probably be here in the car because I'll be here early. Again, I get here, I do my makeup, listen to music, pop a mint in my mouth, that way my breath is good for the customers or for the guests, you know, I'm a guest, what GSR, guest service represent. <laughs> now I found my tag, finally. So that makes me happy, because that's been gone for a while, and people come in, they say, oh, you're so nice, what's your name? And then I have to tell them my name, which if they, if I had the tag, they'd already know to give me a good review on the medallia report. Um boring you guys anyway I can't edit this or anything it's really shaky because it's on my phone I don't have a camera and I have to wait till late at night to upload it which I don't really like doing that I like to get home and do nothing take the dogs down to go pee and then clean and stuff but yeah it's like I, I swear I feel like I have Pima symptoms because like my boobs are sore or my breasts are sore or whatever and I have this tugging feeling on my right side. I've never had it before. Like it, it feels like someone's in there and pulling a little string that's attached and they're tugging on it, you know? Don't know what that is. But I just had that and then the past three mornings. It's been today was the third morning. I've been feeling really sick. Like I wake up feeling sick and I get hungry, but then when I think of food, I don't feel good. And right now, like I think it's the flu coming on because I feel honestly I feel super hot and our thermometer is broken. It's been broken for a while, but I still used it and it said ninety seven five which is so weird, and like, it said 98.3 this morning, or this afternoon before I left work, so, it's broken, but I'm like on fire, I've had the AC on and everything, and my face is still just hot, but, my best friend's sick, and she thinks it's the flu, and now my husband thinks that I have the flu, just because it's going around, and I get it every year, so that'd be a great birthday present, I have the flu, give it to my mom, and then take it down to to Tennessee and, and give everyone there the flu. <laughs> but yeah. I have to get here and get into work. I'm going, 
use the bathroom and then clock in because they like me to get there early. That way everybody else can leave early. Even though I wait till exactly 11 when my shift is up to count everything, make sure everything's perfect. That way if someone walks in at 10.59, they're on my time and I'm going to check them in and help them. But let's hope that I don't have any meanie butts today. Nobody cussed me out or claiming that I tried to kill them because they are 500 pounds and cannot get up the stairs and I made them. I forced them up the stairs. Yeah, that's a story for another day, but just have people I deal with on a, on a daily basis. I'm gonna go in here to work and hope that either my period comes during work because I got pads on the back up or hope that, I don't know, something happens. I just want something to happen. I hate not knowing. That's the thing that kills me the most is not knowing. But when you're trying to conceive or hoping, even not trying, you know, not even preventing really, but you want it to happen. Waiting is the worst. So everybody who's trying to conceive, I think it's called baby dust. I guess I've heard some stuff like that, you know, baby dust to you. Good luck. I hope you get your big fat positive soon to those of you who are pregnant. I hope you have a happy, happy pregnancy. And to those of you who work at a motel and you have to deal with assholes all day, I feel for you. And good luck. And try not to beat anybody up today. So, have a good day, everybody.